The emotion is still palpable. One week after the Danforth community was hit with an unthinkable tragedy, a 10-year-old girl and an 18-year-old woman shot and killed, many others injured during a rampage that sent shockwaves across the country. Tonight, the community is showing once again just how strong they are, once again coming together to show their support for the victims and residents alike. And many people here tonight on the Danforth are finding comfort in this growing memorial behind me here. Strangers, neighbors, and especially those directly affected by last Sunday night's unthinkable events. One woman in particular is finding solace in the scene. Her daughter, a victim of the shooting, remains in hospital in a coma. She has been a very courageous girl. She's willing to help anybody who would ask her for help. Jocelyn Kane says her daughter Danny was shot in the back last week while trying to help others. Once the shooting was done and they heard that there was somebody that was hurt outside, her boyfriend and her just, she went out to help and that's when she got shot in the very close range. Danny Kane remains in the hospital as of Sunday night. Her mother telling City News that Danny is in a coma. She has sustained a back injury and a spinal fusion that we don't even know if she's going to be able to walk again. Kane finds comfort in the growing memorial at Alexander the Great Parquet. And Sunday night, in a show of solidarity for the victims and the community, some TTC workers walk the Danforth with a strong message and to show their support for victims like Jocelyn and Danny Kane. A lot of people are thinking of your daughter right now. Yes, thank you so much for your support and for your continuous prayers. Everyone here represents a community in Toronto or the greater GTA, and we're here to show you it could be my, my neighborhood, could have been yours, and we'd still be there to show you. We support you. How are you doing? Mayor John Tory also taking the opportunity to show his support for the community. There's a huge sense of community about the Danforth, and they just can feel and see with their own eyes the people who come here from all over the city. As I'm walking down the sidewalk tonight, people are saying, I'm from Scarborough, I'm from Etobicoke, I'm from North York, I came here uh, to show my support. And I think we've got to continue to do it, just because it's part of the healing process for the entire city, leave alone for the families of the victims and the injured. It's that kind of support that helps a mother during a very difficult time. I'm just looking for the chill recover recover fully from this disaster and the outpouring support for this community continues tomorrow prime minister justin trudeau will be in town he will be attending the funeral of one of the victims 18 year old arise fallon following that funeral he will be here on the danforth laying flowers at this growing memorial